Benjamin Franklin once said, "Glass and reputation are easily broken, but never will repaired." A company's reputation is undoubtedly the most valuable asset. Consequently, reputation is positively correlated with the success of the company. Organizations with positive reputations facilitate and accelerate their business, whereas those with negative reputation damage or destroy individuals and organizations. So, reputation management is a concept that is appealing to most practitioners. But what is reputation management? When we combine various definitions from different practitioners and experts, we propose that reputation can be described in two ways, from both the perspective of the company and that of stakeholders. Organizations view reputation as an intangible asset that allows them to better manage the expectations and needs of their stakeholders, thus creating differentiated opportunities and barriers to competitive advantages. Stakeholders perceive reputation as their ability to judge whether or not an organization's communications and actions are in accordance with their interests and needs, as determined by their intellectual, emotional, and behavioral responses. In the case stakeholders believe that the organization meets their needs better than competitors, they will behave towards the organization in desirable ways, such as investing, joining, supporting, etc. When companies are able to meet stakeholders' needs and interests over time, they are able to increase their reputation resilience and decreases their reputation risk, which enables them to take advantages of a hollow effects in times of difficulty. But why good reputations? Reputation management and public relations are closely related in today's era of enhanced interconnectivity and digital environment. There have been a number of factors that have made it more difficult for companies to earn and maintain the trust of consumers, including fake news, digital scams from seemingly legitimate companies, as well as an increase in product recalls. Bad press is no longer confined to yesterday's headlines. The existence of digital content with the potential to live for years makes it more difficult for brand wounds to be healed. In today's digital age, business must approach marketing communication and public relations differently than in years past. Public relations is now closely associated with digital marketing as well as other more traditional approach to the industry. As part of reputation management, public relations plays a vital role in enhancing your public images. Just when you think reputation is an issue for the company to think about, we can take a look at a much smaller scale. Warning, warning. This is a case study created in Lily's mind. Don't take it too seriously. LOL. One day, I was scrolling through an article about the best restaurant in Syracuse and decided I'm gonna go for the dinosaur barbecue. I arrived at the restaurant and thank God I have booked in advance because the restaurant is packed. I sat down at the dinner table, looking pretty, of course. The waiter then gave me the menu and I ordered the one and a half rack of all natural barbecue pork ribs without a second thought. The waiter returned after around 10 minutes and apologized for the delay because of a maintenance issue in the kitchen tonight that is slowing down the cooking process. The waiting time becomes ridiculously long and starts to upset me. And then I began to leave reviews on Yelp to warn others. I then waited for another 25 minutes before my dream rib was served. After that, I saw the waiter going up to the manager and whispered. Before getting my checks for the meal, I saw the manager walking towards me with a nice looking blueberry cake in her hands. At that moment, I was praying in my heart that I have ordered that beautiful cake. Plot twist! The manager with the cake walked to my table and said on behalf of the restaurant they wanted to express an apology through this cake regarding the delay in my meal and hope I could enjoy this dessert and it's on the house. For some reasons, this little blueberry cake has stopped me from leaving bad reviews for the Dinosaur Barbecue restaurant. Lessons to be learned! 
In this scenario, restaurant reputation management is the process of restaurant managing customers' feedback and creating systems to improve customer experiences, passively building positive online reviews and safe at-risk customers' experiences. And that is all for my TED Talk. Thank you.